Hello everyone, my name is Philip Hedu. I'm the methodology expert at NCADE. Um, I just want to give you a brief presentation um, about limitation, delimitations, and also assumptions. I think this week you'll be asked to present um, information about um, your study concerning the limitation and the scope of the study. So um, I just want to give you this information so that we help you in um, working on your delimitations. So delimitations, you know, delimitations, they are just features in the study that can be controlled. You know, um, you can have control over because you as a researcher try to define the boundaries of your study. You know, um, just think about the purpose of um, your research problem. You're able to define the problem that you really want to focus on. You are delimiting your study. You are drawing boundaries for your study. Um, the purpose of your study, you were able to draw the boundaries. You know, you have control over what exactly you want to do in your research. Um, another way of looking at it is also the research question. You define, you determine your research question so that it informs the decision that you have to make, how you're going to collect your data, um, the methodology you have to use. Um, also, you limited yourself concerning the concept and also the phenomenon that you are focusing on, the variables that you are focusing on, and also the specific population. So the limitations you are focusing on features in the study that you have control over, that you, 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 you can limit it, delimit it a little bit so that you will not be all over the place. So you are drawing the boundaries of your study. That's all about delimitation. It's not limitation. Limitations are, you know, weaknesses related to the decision that you make in your study. So you decide, let's say you decide a sample size or sample technique that you want to use. There's a strength and the limitations of your study. It's, you know, so um, any decision that you make, especially the population, the time and resources, um, the, the data collection strategy that you're going to use, maybe interviews, it has um, it, um, its own uh, strength and limitations. So just think about, about that. So what are the decision that you are making in your study and what are the consequences associated to, with that decision and also think about the how to address these challenges. Some of them can be addressed. So how do you address? You know, being aware of the, the limitations of the study is very important. It helps you to really uh, see how best you can address it um, in your study. Lastly, assumptions. They cannot be totally controlled, but they have to exist uh, for your study to be credible. You can't control, you know, you can't really control the fact that the uh, participant will be honest and give you an honest response, but we have to assume that they're going to give you an honest res uh, response for your findings to be credible. We are assuming that some of the quantitative studies, we assume that, you know, your data is representative so that you can generalize to the population. We assume that maybe your population that you are focused on have some things in common. They are ho homogeneous. They have homogeneity of characteristics or uh, participant characteristics. So having knowledge about your study is, uh, or your assumption is very, very important and think about how do you um, justify that, um, that assumption? So think about it. Um, so lastly, I just want to, I just did a summary table just to, you know, help you to understand the differences um, between them. And the limitation, as, as I said, the purpose of the limitation is just draw the parameters of your study. and. The level of control, you don't really, um, you don't, there is a level of control because you can control it because you, you, you define the parameters of your study. 
and normally it's written in chapter one. You write that in chapter one. Limitation, you want the purpose of limitation to determine the weaknesses associated with the decision made in the study. And it's very difficult to control um, that, but you have to think about how do you address um, those um, limitations in your study. And also, normally it's written in your chapter three for the dissertation proposal and chapter five. Um, um, when you finish your final product, you can bring it to chapter five. And lastly, assumptions. The purpose of assumptions is to make a study relevant. In order to make a study relevant, you have to talk about assumptions. They have to exist. They cannot be totally controlled, but they have to exist to make your study relevant. And normally we write it in chapter three. So I also have reference here. In the, you can read that article. I think it will help you to really get a brief information about, you know, um, delimitation, limitation, and assumption. I hope this one will help you as you work on your chapter one. Thank you very much. My name is Philip Edu, and I am the methodology expert at NCATE. Thank you.